What's up guys, it's Cookie Junkie here bringing you another video. Today I'm going over how to solve this problem, which is the not optimum mode, recommended mode, 1920 by 1080 Or just, a, it can be just be a blank screen on your TV or your monitor when you plug your Elgato and your PS3 in. Now, this is because the image that is the Elgato sending to your monitor is not supported by the monitor, which means obviously it's the monitor's fault. Typically, this will happen with Samsung monitors and Samsung TVs. I don't know if it happens to any other TVs or anything, but if you get the problem, it'll just try it this way. There's nothing you can lose, and you know it's, it's probably going to work, so you'll be fine. Now, we have got an image on here on the Elgato software, which is very strange. So, if we go into the information panel here. You'll see it's um, in 720 by 568, which obviously isn't supported by this monitor. Now, what you're going to need to do is go over to the settings menu in your PS3 and scroll down to display settings. Click into that, and you're going to have to wait quite a bit, like because it's delayed from you pressing it to what's on the screen. So you're just going to have to really be patient with this, honestly. It's, you've just got to go with it. Go video output settings, and again, you know, the pauses gets a bit annoying. Now, select the component and D terminal, which is the one up from the, the one that it's on for me. So I'll just click that and then go across. And then when you're in the next bit, it'll ask if you want to change it. So you just click change. I'm saying this before it happens. And your monitor will kind of flicker, right, like so. And then you just press, do you want to keep these settings here? Go across to yes. You will not notice anything on your screen. On your screen, it will just be like the same recommended mode thing. But just keep going. And then, after this, this is the crucial point. It will ask you to select a resolution. Now, I found for my monitor, the 720p works the best with the Elgato and everything. I only want to record in 720p anyway, so it really doesn't bother me. It's like, I don't want it in, I'd, I'm not doing massive videos, I'm just going to 720p. So you'll obviously just scroll down to that, and obviously tick the box, and then go right. So I've ticked the box, and the monitor will flash, and boom, there it is, it's on your screen. So you'll see, uh, can you read the screen stats? Yes, if you can. They give you the 21 seconds, so obviously just select yes. And these are your settings that it just says confirm and there's no lag in this at all because it's the thing. It's just obviously in the monitor. You can select your audio output settings. Make sure you go through the audio input connector SCART and AV Multi. So just go through that and click enter and boom, you are sorted. That's on your monitor, it's on your screen, on the Elgato software and stuff. And that's it, you're fine. Um, this will go up to 1080i. I don't even know why it says P on there, because it won't. I don't think it'll record in P, so, um, unless you're going through a HDMI cable input. So that's a bit strange. But I found, personally, when I put it in 1080i, the screen, it didn't look as good. It kind of it kind of moved slightly up and down, if that makes sense. It was really strange. But I didn't want it to do 720p anyway, so it didn't really bother me. Um, and I think most people are doing this. And as you can see in the um, Elgato settings here, which is going to this, it says input and output, nine, uh, 1280 by 720, which is 720p obviously, and then your bit rate and everything is just there, which again, you can just, you can go into your settings and just kind of adjust that to make sure it's in HD 720, so you're recording in 720p. And that's it for this video, I hope this has helped. I just kind of threw it out there because I had this problem and I kind of thought, oh, I'll just, mess about with it for ages and figure out how to solve it but yeah that is that is it and a quick thumbs up just for this film which i think is epic let me just reach over and get it scott pilgrim versus the world amazing film honestly if you haven't seen this please watch it it's so good if you're into like gaming and stuff you will get all the references in this fantastic film definitely worth watching that was pretty random but yeah i'm going to end on that so please comment rate and subscribe if you've got any questions just yeah, feel free to ask.